all of us want faster technologies, smaller devices, cheaper equipment. The lifespan of a computer in 1995 was about five to seven years. Today, it's under two years. I believe that in order to make technology sustainable, you need to have a lot of forethought into what happens at the end of life and consider the whole life cycle of technology development. As technology accelerates, so does obsolescence. And at the current rate of obsolescence growth, there are 40 million tons of e-waste being generated around the world every year. A majority of the e-waste is either landfilled or sent to developing countries like China, India, or Ghana, and Africa, where people recover residual value using informal recycling practices. But the challenge is that these practices are extremely hazardous, uh, both for health and the environment. We asked yourself, are we resigned to seeing this as a humanitarian disaster? And then as we looked closer, what we realized was there's actually a tremendous opportunity. What we're working on is finding a way to economically recover value using environmentally sustainable practices. And so our vision is to create a distributed set of mini refineries and we're deploying new technologies adapted from the mining industry in order to be able to extract value from e-waste. Our goal is to be able to harness technologies to be able to turn this away from being a humanitarian disaster into an economic opportunity which can benefit these societies. We want to no longer see a city that takes in over one million tons of e-waste. We want to empower this city to recognize it's sitting on a two billion dollar e-mine.